You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing SmackDown Live from December 19th. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Well, it's a lot easier when you say the same date for two different days. I guess that's true. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So SmackDown. Mm-hmm. There's a show. Yes, it was. It was actually a pretty good show. It for, was. For uh, SmackDown. Um, yeah. Overall good, but there was a lot of things that they didn't talk about that happened at Clash of Champions, but I guess we shouldn't be sh- surprised by that. No, nah, we got to keep it going. You know, we still have a month before in the next pay-per-view. So yeah. We have to keep the mystique up, and we know nothing's going to be answered next week. I guess that's true. <clears throat> so. Anywho, huh? Mm-hmm. So the show opens with, uh, like, a video package of what had happened in the tag team match from the night before between um, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and uh, Randy Orton, and uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke, yeah, yeah. Um, then the show opens with Daniel Bryan coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, he references how proud he is about the women's Royal Rumble announcement. Yep. Um, and then he says that tonight the main event will be Shinsuke Nakamura, Randy Orton, and AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens, um, Sami Zayn, and Jinder Mahal, mm-hmm. which is a rematch from Tribute to the Troops. Yes. That was the that was the main event of that show. Yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Anywho, sounds about right. So. Uh, and then, pretty much as soon as he makes that announcement, Shane McMahon comes out. And, uh... Oh, yeah. And then he was saying that... They kind of just went over the events that happened the night before. Yeah, and Shane said the reason why he stopped counting when Zayn was pinning Orton mm-hmm. was because he was thinking about all the things that Owens did to him. Him, about, his family, everything. Yeah, and how he attacked Vince, mm-hmm. how Zayn dragged him off of the table... Right. At Hell in a Cell. There was one more thing. I don't remember what it was. Oh, costing Team SmackDown Live. Yes, yeah. And then after that, kind of Shane wants Daniel Bryan to explain his actions for Mm -hmm. the fast count. And Daniel Bryan was kind of like, well, I saved yourself. Well, from yourself. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, in a fitter age, you make a split decision and you're going to cost somebody their career. It's true. And uh, And, uh, Daniel Bryan has kind of been through that before. With the authority figures. Yes. But, uh, yeah, no, they, I thought they, they had a good opening promo. Yeah, it, it made sense, <clears throat> and it was kind of like, uh, I don't know. It, it pretty much ended with Shane, like, going like, oh, maybe you have a good point. Yeah, yeah. well, he talks, Daniel Bryan talks about how SmackDown was the land of opportunity, mm-hmm. and if Shane McMahon thinks this way, he's kind of limiting the opportunity that people have yes he could have cost two superstars their careers right and then shane kind of gives some words of wisdom to daniel bryan and saying that you know they may be on your side now but once i guess uh they you cross them they'll turn on you or well, something. well you don't like. even need to cross yeah them. i guess that's true they're just gonna turn on you and yes find a new person to, to be their friend yeah and then shane says that you need to do what's best for business mm-hmm. And <laughs> Daniel Bryan at this point was just starting to crack up and say, yeah. best for business. I wonder if I heard that before. Yep. And then uh, he basically says that I don't want you turning into Mr. McMahon. And at that point, Shane goes, huh. Yeah. Well, yeah. Daniel Bryan said, if you're going to fire someone, you can fire yes. me. Yes. Yes. And that's when he said that yeah. I don't want you to turn into uh, Mr. McMahon. Mm. And then Shane goes, um, hmm, you might be onto something. Good luck with the show tonight, and then he leaves. Yep. So. so let me ask you a question. Sure. When was the last time SmackDown Live opened with a match? Uh, months? <laughs> Maybe? I was just trying to think about that when this happened. I said, man. It, it's not very often. Yeah. But Raw doesn't open with matches very often either. No, no, I know. But we've seen it more recent than SmackDown. That was... That, that part is true. Yeah. But yeah, after this happens, we have our first match of the night. Yes. With the Usos versus Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable, non-title match. Yeah. Um, So towards the beginning of the match, uh, Byron says that um, Chad Gable should thank Shelton Benjamin for, you know, helping him with his success, which is very funny Mm -hmm. because Chad Gable has 100% done it by, well, not by himself, but he certainly carried... Yeah, he hasn't been a passenger, that's for sure. Exactly. So, <clears throat> it's just funny because of how 
Because Chad Gable has proven that he's good on the mic. Yep. He's very good in the ring. Mm-hmm. And he's, you know, a, con- a viable and convincing, like, potential champion, even if he goes into a singles run. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, Which... it, it, it is funny that they say that the aging superstar is carrying the... But you It's know. Byron. Yeah, he does say a lot of dumb things. He's the company man. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Um, but yeah, surprisingly enough, uh, Benjamin Gable controlled the majority of this match and actually went over clean. Yeah, I was confused. Pinning the current champions in dominating fashion. It's kind of strange. Yeah, and it's Which weird. Which we both actually thought that Benjamin and Gable were going to come away with the titles on Sunday. Yes. Um, but yeah, the, the fact that the heel team won clean mm. over the... Yeah. Well, it's, it's weird. I mean, th- technically, yes, they are the heels, yes. but they're both tweener teams. Yes, it's true. But <clears throat> it, it was just an odd... Unless, for some reason, they want to move the the Usos back towards heelish. But I, I don't see why uh, they would do that. No. Um, but yeah, they en- end up going over with that tag team powerbomb thing. Fini- that yeah. They do. Um, a very devastating-looking move. Yeah. You know, Sean Benjamin's he's, powerhouse. He's... he's the- <laughs> big strong man yes. <laughs> big strong man yes uh, but yeah so after that we have charlotte come out she uh cuts a promo well first they play the video package of what happened? from raw yeah. about the announcement for the uh women's royal rumble mm-hmm. and uh you know she kind of hypes that and then she talks about her match last night thanks thanking the fans and all that good stuff mm-hmm. but uh yeah, you know, she's ready for whoever wins the Royal Rumble and who she will face at WrestleMania, mm-hmm. which I'm guessing they're going to do the normal thing that if you win from your brand, you... Uh, yes. Yeah. That would most likely be the case. Yeah. Well, I didn't know... If, I mean, maybe we'll get one of those where you can <laughs> challenge either champion, or that would probably be more money in the bank. Um. Yeah, and at the same time, like, with, <clears throat> with that in the past, it's always been whatever their storylines are. Yeah, I guess that's so true. So it has nothing to do with like tradition has nothing Mm. to do with like standards it's literally okay well what would make most sense story-wise right (coughs) so it's true but uh uh, yeah so naomi comes out after this mm -hmm. and then you know congratulates charlotte on her victory at clash of champions Mm -hmm. and then she says that she declares herself the entry in the royal rumble Mm -hmm. and uh she will face charlotte at wrestlemania yes she she has aspirations to win the royal rumble yes and then our friends in the Riot Squad come out. Yes. And they have a back and forth with Naomi. Did they even speak? I don't remember them speaking. I don't think, no. I think they, they just came out. Oh, did they just started out? yelling at yeah. Adam. Calling them chicken heads. Yeah. Which is... It incite it it, it, <laughs> it it created a very loud chant. Yes. And I'm sure a handful of those people knew exactly what they were chanting. Uh, anyway. But yeah, so then I I don't think this was announced, right? There being a tag match. No, they said um, Charlotte said that well, let's have a match. Or oh, okay. One oh, of the two. Of they them said there. I didn't know if it was announced. Oh no, it was Naomi. Like, She's like I don't care which two of you, but mm-hmm. two of you are gonna have a match with the two of us tonight. Right. And then that's went it went to commercial and they came mm-hmm. back and the match started between it was <clears> Naomi <throat> and Charlotte versus Sarah Logan and Ruby Riot. Yes. Um, good booking on this match. Oh, you mean the way it played out? Yes. Mm-hmm. It was uh, the the right move. So I guess Naomi and Sarah Logan were in the ring, and Liv Morgan got up on the apron. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess, so what, did Sarah Logan run at Naomi? I think so. And, and then Naomi jumped up. Sarah Logan knocked <clears throat> Liv Morgan off, on, the, off the apron onto the ground, and then Naomi went off the ropes and hit her with the... Uh, I want to say the back. Some, it's the rear the, the view. The rear view, thank you, yes. It says it in the notes. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's <laughs> the whole reading thing. I know. It's hard for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that was that. Was that. Mm-hmm. Picked up the victory. And obviously, it makes sense for the faces to win. Yeah, but think back to SmackDown when the uh, welcoming committee was getting wins that they yeah. definitely shouldn't have been getting. It's true. Yeah. That was bad. So... But yeah, it was, wasn't a bad match. Mm-hmm. It wasn't too long, too, which is good. <clears throat> no. Because you don't want to drag out things that aren't like that important. Right. Especially when you have a limited amount of time. Very right. true. So up next, we have a backstage segment. This is great. 
the New Day are dressed in holiday outfits. Mm -hmm. Um, Kofi was the gingerbread man. Yep. Um, Xavier was a reindeer. Yes. And Biggie was... I think it was just like an elf, wasn't he? Yeah, he was I think it was. Like just the green. Yeah. yeah. I guess he was an elf. I wanted to say an elf or a Christmas tree. Well, <laughs> with him, the size of him, anything's yep. possible. Um, so they're like pushing their new shirts mm-hmm. and because they have holiday shirts. Yes, the who, who, who. <laughs> yes. And then the Rusev Day, or Rusev Day comes over, which is Rusev and Aiden, Aiden English. English. Yes. Um, Rusev's dressed like Santa Claus. Yeah, and Aiden English is dressed up as a snowman. Yes. It, it was pretty funny. <laughs> and uh, Rusev... Rusev goes that since every day is Rusev day, there's only one kind of list, and it's the naughty naughty list. list. (laughs) And then he, like, didn't he grab? Oh, no, I guess um, the uh, English starts singing, right? Yes. And he and says, and, and he's in in the song. He, he challenges New Day to right. be the ones the, the, the their next conquest. Mm-hmm. I think that's what he said. Yeah, I think that was it. It, mm-hmm. it was good. And then Rusev grabs one of the pancakes that Biggie was holding, uh. puts it in his mouth, spits it on the ground, and starts stomping on yeah. it. <laughs> and I think he said something like "booty to your flapjacks" oh, or something yeah. like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. And then Biggie took <laughs> got really mad. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, I, I really hope this is where they go with the feud. What, or just this, or this stuff? is a start where the of the of a feud. Yeah, isn't that what we said? Probably. I think we said Rusev Day versus the New Day. Yeah, maybe. Oh no! No, you said Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah that would work too. Yeah, but either way, this, this is this, good this, because it's it, just comedic gold. Yeah, and it gives yep. them something to do. Yeah. Also, kind of taking the fashion and police's spot. It doesn't matter who wins. Uh, yeah, as long as it's entertaining. Neither, neither of them need it. So. No, not not in this capacity. No. If Rusev was in a singles run, it would be a little different. Well, yeah, yeah. but right now it doesn't matter. Mm. Um, all right, so we got another backstage segment. Um, Owens and Zayn come over to thank Daniel Bryan. Nope, for... oh, forgot the Ziggler. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah so right. Dolph Ziggler comes out because earlier on it was mentioned that we were going to get Dolph Ziggler's U.S. title celebration or something to that extent. Which, obviously, we expected. Yeah. So he comes out, and he still had... They did his, the cut the music thing, right? Yes. Yeah. I wasn't in the room when he was making his entrance. Uh... But uh, he comes out, basically says, you know, nobody should be surprised that he won on Sunday. Yes. Because of, you know... He is the best, after all. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, he recaps all of his championship victories. I think we saw, what, the Intercontinental... The U.S., the Money in the Bank, and then the World Championship. Or yes, he WWE cashed Champions. in successfully. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then he tells the fans that they aren't worthy of his presence mm-hmm. and drops the title in the ring and leaves. Mm-hmm. So I'm guessing he is uh, abandoning the Yeah, title. I guess so. Um, I don't know how much to look into this, but according to WWE's website, he's still listed as, as the champion. U.S. champion. So, yeah. What? While well, that obviously doesn't mean anything, it's, it's just something to point out. Yeah. But um. But yeah. Ne- now, the backstage segment with Owens and Zayn thanking yes. Daniel Bryan for what they did on Sunday, mm. or for what he did on Sunday, and then he, uh, Daniel Bryan responds with, "I didn't do it for you. I did it for because it was the right thing to do." Mm-hmm. And um. That's about it. Yeah. Um. And then. Uh, Owens goes that, well, isn't it great that you finally got the last laugh on right. Randy Orton mm. after all he put you through? Yeah. And we were able to get the last laugh on Shane. Mm-hmm. And then Dan Bryan goes, like, you two are delusional. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And then, Told them to leave before he fires them himself. Yes. So, so, so yeah. Yeah, this is it's, it's interesting. This is... I think they're probably going to turn Shane heel rather than Daniel Bryan. They have to. I, I they realize either, that. They either need to drop it or make Shane the bad guy. Yeah. Because this is obvi- This is like literally the... It's been the, a long uh, time since Shane was the bad guy. That's true. Well, it was back when Vince was... Probably when he screwed the rock? Right? It, whatever it was. Yeah. But back in the... Well, when he era. was the referee and yeah. flipped him off. <laughs> yeah, because um, it was... Uh, yeah, with the corporation, yeah. Because... It was um. It, this is basically the Vince versus Austin. Feud. Yeah, right, right. Except That's for where, the, what they're going, the for. roles are reversed. Mm-hmm. So, but I, I think that would make more sense. 
to have Shane be the bad guy? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> and then you can turn the rest of the guys heel, honestly. Um, Orton, I mean. Well, you should side. make yeah. Orton heel. because Orton, Terrible baby face. Orton also wants to be heel. He does. He acts like he's a heel. He needs to shave that head of his. Yeah, you know. He used to have longer hair. Yeah, I know. So but I, I just, I don't know. I liked his newer look. Yeah. But I think that works more for heel character as well. It's true. Um, all right. So, so, yeah. Up next, we had the match of the night. Well, yeah. It's not that hard when there's like four matches. No. No. Was there even four matches? Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Four the with women, the women's. The two yes. tag team matches. And the, oh, technically no, the five three matches. tag. It's five matches. What else was there? Oh, no. Maybe it was four. No, yeah, three yeah. tag team. Yeah. The six man. Oh, yeah, there was two. no single matches except no, for the women's. That wasn't a single Oh, that wasn't a single. Yeah, that was a tag. Oh, they were all tag matches okay, then, one, technically. One, two. Yeah, the women's, three, and then the Usos and four. Shelton. Four matches, and they were all, all of tag which teams. are tag team matches. Yeah. All right. Oh, SmackDown. But yeah, anyway, this was one of the most entertaining matches in quite some time. Yeah, it was, it was good. Yes, it was the New Day versus Rusev and Eden English. It was the Rusev Day. Battle for Christmas. Yes. That's what, the, that's what Byron said, so, I think. I was discussing this with Christine last night. Um, since we got a Christmas themed match tonight, we're probably going to get nothing on Raw, like they did with Halloween. Oh, oh, we had the street fight on Halloween, right? Yeah, there was. Yeah. Uh, but nobody dressed up. Nobody did anything like yeah. that. I would I imagine like Raw, some things. Yeah, but there's no one on Raw to do that. Though. Yeah, unless you have Gallus and Anderson again. Yeah, Chris Heath Slater and Rhino. It's true. Yeah, because there's really not. Because Kevin Owens would be uh, a logical, yeah. like, someone to do stuff with. Even if he's a bad guy, they still could right. do something with Oh, him. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no one on Raw. No. Because since Cena's going to be in a match, they're not going to have him do anything. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, probably not. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah. It so, doesn't matter. Rusev has his, well, giant red sack with him. Yes. He's yeah. handing out T-shirts to everybody. Rusev Day yes. shirts. Um. That's how we started. It was before the match started. Yeah, when they were coming out, mm-hmm. he was throwing them. Yeah, and the New Day obviously had their pancakes and whatnot, <laughs> dumping them on little kids' heads. Well, I still want to know where <laughs> Why the it originated. Came. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. It's a good question. Yeah. But, um, yeah, at one point, Rusev and English got knocked outside the ring. Mm-hmm. So uh, Kofi and Woods decided to grab Santa's sack so to speak, yes. and uh, they start pulling out New Day shirts and throwing them into the audience. Yeah, I'm confused, because I thought it was Rusev's bag, but it looked it like It was. They, they were had... separate boxes. You oh. could see a cardboard box when they went over it to ringside. Oh, okay. And then <laughs> they pull out a pair of Rusev's underwear. Yeah. <laughs> they looked very confused, and that's when uh, no, they got attacked yeah, from behind. behind. And Rusev grabbed it and put it in his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was really hoping for? It got thrown at Byron. That would have been funny. Yeah. <laughs> it just reminded me of uh, the time when I think it was the Fashion, uh, fashion Police versus the Usos and the uh, Tyler Breeze's skirt got thrown on JBL's head <laughs> when he was granny. Um, but yeah, no. Um, so I guess Rusev and Aiden English had the upper hand on the outside of the ring with Xavier Woods mm-hmm. and they took the pancake platter and put it on the announce table, which the audience was chanting for pancakes throughout the entire match. Well, you know, because that's what's important. Yes. So then Rusev put the platter down, got whipped cream out of his sack, (laughs) started spraying it on, and then got cherries out and put one cherry on. Mm -hmm. And they were going to faceplant Xavier Woods onto it. Yeah. And then I think, what, Rusev got taken out, right? Yeah. And then what, did Kofi come over? Uh, I guess so. And then and Kofi and Xavier hit Aiden English with a flapjack onto the uh, <laughs> flap flapjacks. <laughs> um, so they go into the ring. And I think Xavier knocked him down, down again, right? And then went yeah. up top and hit. Well, the, he couldn't see because he had all yeah, that he whipped cream, whipped cream in his face. face yeah. And so then Xavier hit, hit a elbow drop. A springboard elbow drop because he did have to jump over to the other ropes to go across. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then kind of dumped eaten pancakes onto yeah, it was weird yeah you in know. english face but fantastic entertaining match it's overall true. um during the match uh since kofi was dressed as the gingerbread man he was running <laughs> away from rusev saying you can't catch me on the gingerbread man oh it was, it was man very good it was 
So. Uh, like you said, anything they do with these, well, five, are going to be entertaining. It's true. You just had the uh, fashion police in there, and you have gold. It is crazy how over Rusev is mm-hmm. right now. Yeah, like you could even transition them into a feud with the fashion police mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, because you know they could, they could, they could be doing on the fashion mm-hmm. files, and Rusev comes over. He's like, "What is this? <laughs> what is what is fashion files? Yeah, something like that. And just appear in one of the episodes. That would be good, and that'll start the whole thing. Yeah, and then. <laughs> I mean, unless maybe they'll go for planning their, you know, revenge. Brizango against the Bludgeon Brothers. Oh, you mean with them? Yeah, for their fashion files. Because I don't know where else they're going to go with it. Yeah, or they'll just disappear. I hope Go the way of the... uh, The Ascension that went. (laughs) Well, the clones were injured. I know. They still just... True. I I mean, they're both able to wrestle now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, So that leads us to our main event. Yep. That we have, uh, we mentioned it earlier with uh, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and Jinder Mahal mm-hmm. versus um, Randy Orton, Shinsuke Nakamura, and the champion AJ Styles. Yes. And, uh, yeah, it yeah. was standard. Yeah. Very it, standard. I, we've had this match before mm-hmm. where we've had similar matches. Um, the Singh brothers try to get involved on behest of uh gender and uh zane and uh owens um and the referee then, goes to throw them out yes they go to leave and then they come back for whatever reason i think what did gender get hit with not an rko maybe something it was a phenomenal no it wasn't that was later in the match i don't know i'm pretty sure gender got hit with a move and that's why they came back toward the ring oh. and then they got up on the apron and randy hit him and like, with, he loves yeah. to assault the Singh brothers, yeah. and he played them both with the draping TDT. Yes. And then that's when Styles came in and hit a phenomenal forearm, I think, on Jinder, right? Uh, you're talking about not the finish one, duh, or the... Well, the pre-finish. Yeah, because there was, a, there was an, a, style, a phenomenal forearm that Orton helped him with. Yeah, yeah, that was right after that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember who he hit Cause, it on, though. Because he, he did the forearm, but, like, Orton kind of threw for, yeah. him into... Yeah, it was kinda. Zane. Oh, it was Zane? Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. It, was on, it, was on, uh, it was on Owens. Owens? Okay. Yeah. Because Jinder was, like, outside of the ring for right. the, the, yeah. pretty much the whole match. Because I'm guessing Orton hit an RKO on uh, Jinder. That's probably what that happened. That probably knocked him out yeah. of the match. And then, yeah, Shinsuke hit a Kinshasa on Zane, and that was that. Yes. And it was weird, because this match happened, what, two or three minutes before the show ended? Probably two. Yeah. And then they were kind of both celebrating on the other one side of the ring, and then they moved to the other side, and I was like, oh, man, I think something's going to happen. And I feel like someone's going to turn. And then nothing and happened. And then nothing happened. Yeah. And I think uh, the dark match for the night was Rude versus Corbin in a Newark street fight. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sure. I guess that happened after 205 Live. That would make sense. Yeah. That's an odd choice. But yeah, whatever. well, what are you going to do? Yeah. But no, this was, was a decent episode of SmackDown. Uh, yeah. Much better than it's been. It's true. Pre-Clash of Champions. Thank you, New Day and Rusev Day. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, it didn't feel like... Some, just sometimes the show drags. It's true. And sometimes well, you're honestly just, looking at the clock going, oh, man, it's only this time. so much filler. Yeah. It is it true. makes no sense. Nope. Whatever. But yeah, anyway, that was our SmackDown review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.